So hello there, my name is Jen and today I'm gonna be sharing to you tips on how or what are you going to do if you are broke. But before that, please don't forget to click the subscribe button if you are interested in topics related on how or what a millennial should know. And please don't forget to click the bell button so you will be notified and you will not miss any of my videos. And for that, we will going to start right now. Before we start with anything, I just want to give a clear definition of the word broke. So if you look it up into the dictionary, the meaning of broke is running out of money or having no money at all in your pocket or in your bank account. And I just want to give a disclaimer before we start uh, that I'm not going to advise you to join any kind of networking or to go to Shopify or enter a Bitcoin because there's no definite answer or solution in this kind of problem there's no one size fits all solution to this kind of situation now we are ready to jump right into our main topic which is what are you going to do if you are broke so let me give you an example so you can imagine what a broke person looks like so let's say you are having a salary worth 2,000 every month but then again you are having a monthly expenses such as rent you know, utilities, groceries, food, transportation, that's worth 2000 also. So what does that mean? It means that your income is just equals to your expenses which result to zero cash flow or negative cash flow. If your income just equals to your expenses, well congratulations because this is not the worst case scenario. I'm gonna tell you there are people who has an income. But then again, their expenses exceeds to their income which leads to debt. I'm gonna tell you, this is a bigger problem. And you cannot rely to being optimistic, thinking about this all will pass. My dear, it will not. You have to face it. You have to do something about it. With this kind of situation, you are going to think what are you going to do or how will you be able to manage to save something from your income and not to put everything into your expenses. And now I'm gonna be sharing to you the strategy number one. If your income is just equals to your expenses, you have to think about the ways on how to lessen your expenses. So this is called shrinking out. This is called living below your means because you have to save something from your income to pay off your debt. And what you're going to do here is you have to list all the things that you are paying for you are spending for or you are buying for a whole month and you have to do this straight three months so you can see on and compare the things that is important for you or maybe it's just leisure because in this kind of situation you have to remove the leisure part because you have many things to pay so you can just add it up later once you already recovered from your debt and from being broke yeah you can add it slowly but for now you have to be strict when it comes to your finances or to your budgeting so you can create even a small positive cash flow from your income and we are going down to strategy number two as i've said a while ago this is not a one size fits all kind of strategy so maybe not all people are okay with this or some people cannot do this but some people can so let me share this to you anyway so Strategy number two is to make your income higher. So you can think about how to create income and how to increase your income. So let's say for example, you are working full time. So you can consider working late, late night so you can have an overtime pay. So that is already an additional income. And let's say if you are working in sales, you can consider reaching higher targets so you can have higher commission. Or let's say if you are working in the restaurants or you know in the spas you can consider working like longer hours so you can have aside from the overtime pay you can also have tips so that is also additional income and let's say if you are ambitious enough you can put up a side hustle let's say you are having an online business or let's say you are using your hobbies to create an income like photography for example so you are accepting you know sideline from your 
friend's wedding or from your friend's birthday and they take you as a photographer so that is also an additional income because you know the way i see this uh problem such as being broke is not about you know your spending habits unless you have crazy spending habits which is not healthy at all the way i see this problem is because people have lack of income that's why they become broke so you have to think about the ways on how to increase your income and to generate a positive cash flow so we are now here to the third and final strategy that i have for you which is to attack it from both sides meaning you have to lessen down your expenses while increasing up your income so you can create a more positive cash flow so you can have enough money to pay off your debts and to settle your bills. So I know that this process will take a lot of hard work and effort and sacrifices by giving up all your leisure, all the fun, all the luxuries, but always keep in mind that this is just for temporary. Once you recover and once you get over from being broke, you can always bring it back. You can always put all the things that you give away, you can always bring it back to you. But in this time, you will do it wiser and you will do it more disciplined because you know how it feels like to have zero money in your pocket or to have zero bank account balance. So I know that you will like give importance to every single money that you earn from your income so that concludes our strategy on how or what you are going to do if you are broke and thank you so much guys for watching i hope you learned something new from this video and if you find it helpful you can share it to your friends and don't forget to subscribe bye